Welcome to the night. Landscape, landscape podcast. We are talking, talking photography. We are showing, showing pictures. Hi, uh, good evening. Thanks again for joining tonight. Landscape Lenscast podcast. Uh, we're here with suspects uh, on the left hand side of me. Uh, I've got uh, Steve Stain. On the right hand side of me, I've got Louise Welcome. And below Steve, we've got uh, Alistair uh, McDonald from Accessible Photography. And next to Alistair, we've got uh, Dougie Milne, who is, uh, as you know, he writes these books on photog well on walking tours around e uh, Scotland, etc. Now, we've also got a guest tonight, and uh, this is a guest panellist. I know her very well because I've actually done some photography with her, and she's very pretty much up this side of the, the, the country up in Scotland, especially in Edinburgh. And it's Jan Smith. Probably you guys, Ego Eye viewers out there, probably if you've seen me from uh, the past times in the click cast, um, there's a channel called Lens Lounge, and that's where Jan... Uh, you know, co-hosts on with the rest of the guys, which is a good channel, and I'll actually do a link to that below the video uh, uh, later tonight. So, uh, Jan, thanks again for uh, for joining us. And uh, Jan, of course, this uh, if you you know people that don't know you, just tell more about what type of photography you do, where you come, where what part of UK you're from, etc. Yeah. Hi. Um. Thank you so much for inviting me here. Um, Pleasure. I'm from the Midlands. Uh, from Telford, so um, I'm I'm move up from uh, Guildford. So, so um, I've been I did I've been to Bristol as well. So <laughs> I, I tend to I tend to to travel a lot, as you might notice. Uh, in terms of photography, I sometimes I do I do uh, say that I I don't class myself as photographer because. Basically, uh, as what a really good friend of mine uh, succinctly pointed out, I'm a snapper <laughs> because because I I tend to snap everything that move and doesn't move. So anything that I like, I just take photos. So uh, photography is basically for me a hobby. So if something interests me, I take a photo of it. So I I started with macro. Uh, mm. because I like flowers and I thought you know taking photos of flowers was interesting and then I move into um, landscape so because I I saw some some photos some you know really nice views and I said I'd like to record this so basically in terms of how, why I take photos is that because I like to record things that I find quite uh, interesting mm. Um something that i'd like to to remember and and also because i just feel like who can someone can i actually do what they do so i go off and and read about it and then take photos <laughs> and, and see whether i need i do uh, i do take it you know so i i've done um for portrait photography, babies, um, wildlife, still life. Um, I've done a uh, model, model photography. I've done landscape, seascape, so product and all sorts of things. <laughs> so You're not you a snapper. That I don't specialize <laughs> on anything. What I don't understand is uh, you just made a, a you know a reference there to what your friend called you a snapper and you just what you've read out there what you've said there sorry not read out what you've said there all these genres of photography that's not a snapper you know obviously you've got a lot of genres on your belt and yeah uh, I've actually shot with you um, down in Wolverhampton was it it was the yeah. the Click guys club. would have models at the time and we were mm -hmm. taking pictures of the models I yeah Click that. Club Click Club that's it yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, you know, Jan, your 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 work is good, and we'll all look some of the photos that will come very very shortly. Uh, before we do that, guys, I'm just going to go around everyone and also get people uh, into the discussion. 
Um, of course, uh, one of the things we'll probably go to is talk about is mainly what you guys have been up to. So anybody, anything, got anything to talk about this week? I know we've all, well, we usually meet each other every week, so usually guys got nothing to say. So have you got anything to say this week, guys? Um, I've, I've been out with... Um, well, they talk at the same time, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I've been out with one of the, <laughs> the pubcast crew today, shooting. Uh, oh, he's, yeah. come, he's come over to our neck of the woods and um, the host of podcast, um, nice. Garrett Norman. It was really Garrett nice Norman, to yeah. sort of spend, yeah, spend a few hours yeah. with him today. Met him at the um, show last weekend. We arranged to yeah. meet yeah. at Cannock today, so we've had a nice morning out doing that. So, yeah, good. that was really good. And, and I, he did say hello, actually, was... so he does watch the uh, he does watch the the podcast, which is good. Oh great, yeah. Uh, yeah I mean, um, we that's one of the guys I like to speak to actually on the cast. I know mm. it's he's pretty much known for his podcast himself of um, Lanes, yeah. not like Lanes, I'm sure. Podcast, uh, John, have you heard of podcast before? Podcast, yeah, yeah. Uh, podcast. Um, I no, I I never tried it because I don't have the voice for. Oh, sorry, uh, podcast, not podcast. Ah, <laughs> podcast no. is a um a po- a podcast. Oh, wait, and the words get mixed up there. And it's just mainly five, I think it's six guys, it could be seven, whatever. And they're mainly mm-hmm. talking about, you know, basically life, not just about photography. It's yeah. kind of just like it, sitting in the room with friends, mm-hmm. but they're always they're called pubcast because they always have their beer next to them. So it's very loose, ah, relaxed okay, talking. Okay, yeah, pop. so it's, Adam okay. Gibbs goes on it. Yeah, Adam yeah. Gibbs is on it. And, we, actually bumped, um, we actually met them all last week. It was all at the photography show. So meet Adam, yeah. Yeah, well, uh, well, have you, I didn't, told, have you asked him? Have you asked him what's going him? on? What's, tell him to get on the yeah. podcast. I'll, I didn't manage to, him a manage to speak to him, to be honest with you. I spoke to all the others, but didn't manage to speak to Adam. But seen all the yeah. others. Are you avoiding you? Sorry? You're avoiding me. <laughs> yeah, that's that guy from my. Yeah, he was too busy, to be honest. You, you just, some people, you just. Oh, yeah, yes. I, I spoke got, to him this morning. He's got and, yeah, everybody he says, talking he's still interested. to him. Yeah, so. yeah, he's still interested to come on, but. Yeah, he's got life is in a way just now. He used to watch CDs. He's so much catching up to he's got I, because I did actually so see um, Shona as well, but she was <gasps> she was talking and I didn't manage to see it, find her after that because it'd have been nice to say hello. So she, Shona she was there, yeah. She doing one of the talks. Yeah, yeah. Shona Perkins. But uh, unfortunately, I didn't manage to actually speak to her either. <laughs> oh. Useless, isn't it? <laughs> 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 Who's been at the photography show? It, I was. It's, not, it's my first time this recently. Year. And and it's it's I'm 25 minutes away from it, even though I don't yeah, live you. in Birmingham. Well, you should. <laughs> you should. I have. I'm. I was there. Yeah, January too far. Sunday. Not too far. Yeah, I was there Sunday. It was interesting. I think um, we didn't have one last year. Uh, this year, there was more people actually coming uh, to the show than yeah. uh, the year the the previous one. And but unfortunately, uh, the the exhibitor there was uh, less exhibitors, mm-hmm. uh, maybe because of course there was a there was this um, yeah last year that it, it didn't happen. But there were a lot of interesting talks, and um, also they did touch um, on AI as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So on AI and That's and uh, there were talks about um, it. It's basically um, there was a talk about um, commercializing, of course, your 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 business and 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 workflow, etc. So it was it was it was good, but um, yeah. I usually just go there to have my photo printed for free. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You get your foot. Yeah, I've heard that. Yeah, I need, I've never been there before, guys. Uh, so I'm looking forward to going there. Yeah. Um. So I will it's, hopefully go down next year. It's down London next year. Guys, down there. Hopefully, it's yeah. at London next year. So the excellent. It's in London. Yep. Oh. They need to bring it to Worthing. Come to Worthing, boys. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. No. Louise is right down the the southest <laughs> point of Britain, almost. Louise, that's where she comes from, Jan. Um. Mm. So what we're going to do is going to look at the images, and you know what's coming up, guys? A nice bit of cheese. Oh, no. Ooh, yeah, I'm sorry. Oh. It's going to happen. That Stilton, that big part of Stilton is coming right up at you. So uh, Watch our faces, go. Jan. Watch our faces. It's time for that part of the show on Landscape 
Lenscast Podcast, where we all take a look at the images for this week from present and past. I think we should all join in when we do that, just to really make it go. I think so. To be fair, I did. <laughs> I was that. you doing that just there, Alistair. I was thinking, there's no way I'm ever going to do that. <laughs> you know, you know worst, I've got plans for next season, better. guys. <laughs> Only a man wearing a shirt like that would be doing that. You know what? <laughs> I have got plans for next season, and oh, you guys will be on it. Oh dear! We're going to we're go to a church it. choir and we're going to sing it. But anyway, <laughs> not the Tom Foolery. We're just going to go to business. Now, this is the business part, guys. We're going to show the images uh, of everyone's what they've been up to, and this is what's the title of this week, Jan? What have you chosen? Oh, I just say light. Um, hey. I like so. I like taking photos um and i always use light because i'm one person who doesn't if i can get away with it doesn't actually use um tripod uh, yeah she doesn't like tripod using much. a tripod so just going to introduce this image jan tell us more about this image and um yeah do you have your weights on yeah, actually, uh, this was an image that was taken in um, the Dibbles pulpit um, in uh, somewhere actually near near between Glasgow and Stirling. Yes, okay. yeah. yeah. So it's it's um, it's one of those where I, I went up to to Scotland mm -hmm. and a few friends said. Oh, have you been to to the Dibbles pulpit? Would you like to come with us? And I said, Yeah, sure. So went in there with my uh, on my uh, little green buggy, and um, and for the first time, actually, I had a tripod with me, which was one of my my little traveling tripod, and didn't have any waders or anything because I wasn't planning on wading into anything. Because I didn't realize that actually you have to sort of upsell down the this uh, really deep um, gorge, yeah, gorge, and and it, it was um, it was in, an experience in itself. So got really wet and muddy, and then then got confronted with a river that was a bit swollen. So I said, "Oh no!" I said, "Do we need to go there? Do, are we going to get there?" Said, Oh yes, we have to wait in. So I was actually wet up to my chest because I'm unfortunately I'm one of those people who are vertically challenged. So, <laughs> so for people who would have it would have been on their waistline, it was yeah. chest line for me. <laughs> so so got in there and um then so that um I didn't because I, I haven't really much experience in terms of or I technical I just I just used the 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 camera so what I did was to experiment with the exposure mm -hmm. because um as I read before so you have to put it on f16 so that it goes like the dip of field is really you know good and then put mm -hmm. it on on slow shutter yeah. but I didn't know what which shutter I need to put it in, so I had to actually experiment, and I found out. Sorry about the dog, but I what found that? out no. that that's um. Not my one this time. Yeah. <laughs> that's jelly. That's jelly. That's, that's jelly. So um, so what happened was this one actually uh was um. For uh, it's. It's actually not even a second. Uh, it was four. No, sorry, it was four seconds. Okay. Just four seconds, and um, and it came out like that. And it was. I was actually quite happy that mm. the sun also started shining through the the gap in the gorge, and and it just lighted up all the the trees and the greens. So I then decided to focus actually on that area because yeah. um, I thought that if I expose to the light area then I will actually uh, not blow that that uh, top side of things mm -hmm. so so that's how and I was quite pleased with how it came out with the swirls 
because there was one that I actually took, which was longer. Mm -hmm. uh, it came out quite dark. And, yeah. and all of those uh, water, the swirls in the water, the movement sort of disappeared because it just made all the movements to, um, how do you call it, erase all the movements, it was too still. So I was, mm -hmm. I was pleased with this thing. So uh, I think what I've learned when I was shooting that is that sometimes you read things um, in books or in magazines and in you know, uh, when in forums where people say, oh, my God, how did you actually shoot that? And then they start giving you the, you know, the technical things, aperture, size and all those stuff. And then when you in my experience with this is that when I was there, I realized that actually all of that just flew out of the window because I had to work with what is in front of me because that. There's there was barely any light in that. The only source of light is the the sun that was shining in that mm -hmm. on that uh, gorge. Yeah. So so it was it wasn't it wasn't even much. And the fact that I was also you know holding on for dear life on my um, <laughs> <laughs> on my tripod pod because. Um, the tripod was a traveling tripod. Yeah, yeah and I had to point. somehow stabilize it. So I was, <laughs> I was <laughs> shooting imagine. at the same time, clinging to the air life with the. With the <laughs> That's a beautiful image. Was the was the water moving quite fast, yeah? It was. It was yeah. because it was a bit swollen and it was raining. Uh huh. Yeah. So so that's why I think. The reason why um, I got all those stories because the water was moving quite fast. Yeah, yeah, and you know, the, the, this looking at the, the image itself. I mean, it's not being stacked or anything. It's just one shot. Is that correct? Yeah. Yes, it is one shot. I don't know how to stack. If you ask right. me about stacking, I wouldn't know what how to you know how to take it. So yeah, uh, this yeah. was actually, um, if I'm not mistaken, this was uh, an F eight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and four seconds. Okay. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Well, Louise, what, what's your take on this? No, I've been there, so I completely get what she's talking about going down that flipping abseiling bit. Um, and when I was there, I was there very early in the morning. And yes, you have a far superior image to me. In fact, I was I, I, I abandoned my kit and went to the right hand side here and thought. Mm. I've got everything wrong for today. I'll come back another time. So I look at this and I think, because oh, I love a little bit of a swirl in the front. I mm. just, I, I love this shot. And uh, I'm a little bit jealous, if I'm honest with you, because <laughs> I'd have loved to have got in that water. However, being a southern chicken, a bit, a bit too cold for me. Southern chicken. That's hugely, hugely impressive. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. Swirls is what does it for I me? I love that swirl. Yeah, certainly, Sorry, John. Again. Sorry, there we go. Yeah, certainly, John. You are a braver photographer than I am. I I did actually make it down those. It's, it's actually broken stairs. I think there's a, been a Victorian stairway which is mm. collapsed, and now you've got a rope to help you abseil down, uh, freehand because you don't attach it to anything. <laughs> and I got to the bottom, and that's when I realised. What you've got to go across the water to get the pictures, <laughs> no chance. <laughs> but I, I, I took what I could, uh, I, I was vlogging it as well, and got some images. But I think, uh, I would agree with Louise that you got a really, really good picture there, yeah, really good. Thank you so much. I was, uh, I, I wasn't, uh, I have to say that by the time I got out of the water, I was actually, I was absolutely shivering. My, I couldn't feel my lower half. <laughs> and then I had the pleasure as well of actually going up again that that, that gorge and, and got into the car and I had to put like um, a bin bag in the seat to actually be able to sit. Fair play. Mm. <laughs> See, I have heard of various photographers going down there and they do actually strip off from the waist down before they go in. Okay, so not give us not, fair not warning if anyone wanted, but uh, 
If any of I'm you not do that, give us fair warning, okay? <laughs> or, yeah. Just let I you don't know. think you won't see me go down there, no. <laughs> actually, you know what? You know, I've never I've actually been, been down there. I've, I've been no, past it I, many, many, many times, but oh. I've never actually gone down. Um, I, I think I it's lost. close at the moment. Was it? I yeah. think you're right. I think they are potentially... Are they not privatising it, or have they not sold off the, the area around the, there? The, the plan... Really? There, there is a plan that I I saw. It's probably about four or five years ago now. Yeah. And the landowner wants to make money from it. He's actually been really awkward and trying to stop people getting in, but now they're actually looking to put in a proper car park, a visitor mm -hmm. centre, mm -hmm. and a bridge over the top. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine? You've got this wonderful view looking up the gorge, and they want to put a bridge over it. Yeah. Oh. That's that's the thing uh, that I I actually read that um, when the guy in, was interviewed, and um, as the reason why they want to make it safe as well is that because recently, as I think mm. it was about over a year ago, or uh, two years ago, uh, someone died. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah, I'm right. sailing down. Yeah. So uh, because the the person fell, and oh, um, and. And I think that was the reason. Yeah. It became very, very popular over lockdown. There was a lot of people just going up there and heading down with their carryouts, you know, lots mm. of beer and stuff, and getting drunk and leaving their rubbish and what have you. So mm. you can understand why the landowner wants to kind of control access. Yeah. Uh, I do get that. Because it was getting ruined, you know. Uh, yeah. I do get yeah. People's getting in there and just, you know, messing the place up, making it. People see the images on social media and they're like, where is that? And, you know, yeah. well, it, it was part of uh, Outlander as well, was it not? Was it yeah. 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 So yeah. It's one of those ones that people want to go because, oh, it was on Outlander. I've got to go and see it. Not realise just how, how difficult it is to get to. Yeah. 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 Steve, what's your and take occasionally on you hear, you hear about a uh, mountain rescue being called to winch people out yes. as well. Yeah. yeah. So they get down there, they can't get back out. So Yeah. Steve, what's your take on this one? I love it. Absolutely love it. I think you've got the uh, shutter speed bang on, to be honest. And uh, good on good on you for getting in the middle of that river, because no way good I right. would. Um, no. As soon as I get a tow <laughs> cold, that's me done. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. It's one thing. One of my pet hates is cold water, even though I have been up Scotland jumping in the rivers, believe it or not. But, oh. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, it's... Um, very well done to to actually put the effort in, and and it's nice to hear that backstory that you put all that mm. effort in. Cl even climbing down, I'd probably struggle to climb down to be honest. Um, it was tough. So to put that effort in to capture such a shot, but definitely well worth it. So well done, excellent shot. Yeah. Thank yeah, you. Definitely. And while you were there, you got the best of the shot as well. You know, it's not a case if you took a shot and uh, tried a couple of times, you've got the best shot you can out of it. Yeah. So well done. And we'll go to the next image now, guys. And yeah, this is um, this is going to be somewhere near your home, Jan. Am I right? Or am I far oh, away from that? Yes, this was right. actually uh, uh, the cloud in in um, in Singapore, Garden yeah. by the Bay. Uh -huh. So mm -hmm. um, they have they have a, a place there. Uh, it's a tourist attraction. And they basically, uh, it's it's uh, it's like a rainforest, Beautiful. and and um, which is contained in in a huge space. And uh, what they do is that they they uh, from they have the mist the whole place, so they kind of blow this mist um, all over. Oh, so okay. it's so misty out there, uh -huh. and and um, I went there. With my little M50 camera, so I, can, I had this yeah. little M50 because um, I was I was going around looking the whole day, and I I didn't feel like taking my Canon camera is gonna gonna be a good idea. So I had this little M50, and I I went in there, had to pay twenty six dollars for the privilege, uh, mm -hmm. Singapore dollars, and and just look around and and. Um, then I decided I was going to go down the, uh, it was like kind of a basement type of thing where you walk. Mm. And where where 
it is is like at the bottom because there is a walkway at the top so there's yeah. a walkway at the top where you see the whole of singapore and at the same time looking down into this like forest area but and then i decided to go down at the bottom and that's where the plants and everything and while i was there there was very barely any light there um mostly from from colored colored um little led lights mm. and then while i was there they then release what they call the mist so they it's basically a spray of really fine water so they they sprayed it and then also at that time the sun was coming in it was the it was the sunset basically it mm. was coming in from right at the top uh towards the actually my right hand side and so as i got into the corner i saw it shining right into this space and then the mist was coming through as well from the top and it was going down and yeah. i just thought wow that looks kind of mythical so i i stood there and took the photo uh handheld mm -hmm. with my little m50 and and that's how it came out yeah i mean it's, it's um yeah, it's it could be anywhere couldn't it it could be anywhere uh looking at that um what's your take on it, louise i'm i i i'm in a bit of awe with with kind of having this atmosphere and i'm quite liking if i'm honest with you jan the concept that somebody can do that forget the light but somebody can spray mist on command i think they should come to the south of england to do that but i love <laughs> i love the softness of this i love the the detail of the plants and when i was putting this powerpoint together i must admit i just thought oh crikey that's quite good that's quite good isn't it loved it yeah yeah that's a lovely image guys anyone well, I think that's one one hint for you guys to do your woodland photography. Just bring a smoke machine with you. Yeah, <laughs> do it. <laughs> There's times you're frustrating, and we do think that. But no, I mean, <laughs> yeah, you're right. I mean, it's um, you know, sometimes, you know what, you know, I, I wouldn't buy a smoke machine. Of course, it would be too much to carry. But <laughs> you can imagine carrying that along with your your camera bag and all that. But yeah, you know, taking we, advantage of it, something like that is we, we've says, actually got a. Uh, yeah, it's good. We, I was out with Martin the other week actually, and he likes a vape, uh -huh. and they make fantastic really? smoke machines. Trust me. Oh, um, right, okay. If you watch, yeah. actually, if you watch Martin's video, he's seen it tomorrow because he's told me. But we we used oh, yeah. vape. We, we've got this lovely atmosphere, but the the mist was sort of starting to recede a little bit. And I'm not kidding you. Yeah. He went round with his vape, and he's got a super shot. He's got an absolutely super shot. Something similar to this. So. Um, so it does work, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, exactly, it's yeah. just it's logical, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Just just yeah. use your tools that you got. That's it. But it's, that's a yeah. lovely. It's a beautiful shot, by the way. It's an absolutely stunning shot. What are the yeah. the white mounds? Is is it? Oh, they they are actually like a stalactite, a oh, right. stalagmite okay. yeah. type of thing, yeah. because it, it's right at the at the bottom of the of the. Um, of that um space really it's kind of um ma majority of people don't go there because they'd like to go up into this walkway mm -hmm. where they can actually see the the this um fine fine water coming down and because it's very very humid that's how this the misty thing actually comes out because with the with the droplets of water and really warm, you know, um, weather inside there, yeah. it was very warm, yeah. and it yeah. just comes did, out like that. Did, and um, did the lens fog think, up a little bit? Because sometimes that can actually help a shot like this. I'm just wondering whether you just got the slightest bit of like lens mist because I, I've seen photographers do that before. Literally breathe up in front of the lens just to get this yeah. atmosphere. So oh yeah. Bit, but yeah. it's it's an absolutely stunning shot. I, I love the just that softness, that painterly softness feel. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah it's nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm just admiring the plants in the bottom. Yeah, that's corners that, that's, as well. that's where your eye goes. On the right hand yeah. side, next to the bracket yeah. on the right hand side. Yeah. 
You see the uh, the fair fern on the on the the left and this other thing I don't know what it is on the right there. Oh, yeah, it's it's kind of mm. it's kind of dark green and it's like a white. It doesn't yeah. drag your eye to it, doesn't it? In the corner. It reminds, it reminds me yeah, of the really it's, like, it's like a house plant in this country. Oh yeah, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the best we get, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, beautiful images, Jan. Thank you for sharing them. Uh, we'll move on to the next uh, victim. I, I was heading to Sky, so I'd had ah. a little, no, I can't remember exactly where it is. That's a huge difference. To, Dal, to Dalwini, then cut across from there, if I remember. So it's on that, that sort of road. Mm. You, this scene is completely gone now because they're replanted and there's already trees growing up in mm. that area. But I was coming by. And I saw the the light coming through those clouds, the mountains behind, and this scene just just sort of appeared in front of me. I actually drove past it, and I was able to park the car off the road on the right hand side, and scurry back to this point here and got that image. And obviously, I decided I was going to use that beautiful wall as a lead in and round and into the the main scene itself. Mm. Um, I just. So I'm just adjusting something so I can see it properly myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I took several images and I actually took and made a panorama. So I took about eight vertical images, stitched those together, but they didn't really come out. The 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 panorama that I took, the, the bottom of it was cutting into that wall and I decided that really oh, wasn't right. going to work. And I've been able to use this single image, and it has had some work done to it because the the whole uh, foreground was, was very very dark. I mean, the exposure has been to try and get that light in the cloud without the cloud burning out completely. Mm -hmm. so exposed for the bright, and then knowing that I'm going to have to bring back the the dark area again uh, yeah. in, in post. But uh, I had some details on my phone for this one. But I've lost it now. I can't remember what it was. Yeah, but, like nine, nine, nine F, F, F eight to sixteen somewhere, and probably about two fifty to five hundredth of a second, something like that. But uh, yeah, yeah, I can see the, the change in the conifers, the trees. Um, is this pretty much kind of like the start of autumn, or it, it was actually March? I was, I was, really? I was heading to Sky. I was doing so Sky. It's going March. to all the way around, just uh, more of them getting the yeah. color back. Yeah, yeah. That's, nice. so that's why we, that's place. why you've got the snow in, in, in the autumn. You, you you can get the snow on the hills in the autumn, but uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This, this is the end, end, end of winter now. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. Guys, anyone's got any take on this? It's a really nice image. I like the wall, which is kind of leading you out to the lock itself. Yeah. I do. And I like I like the rocks in the foreground as well. I think without those rocks mm. there, it wouldn't work as well. Oh, rustic looking, that. Yeah. Mm. Jan, what's your take on it? What do you think, Jan? Do you? I think um, it the the um, it, I think uh, Alistair managed to bring it together really well um, mm -hmm. because it could go, you know, it could be looked at as quite busy when, but having the the leading line actually with the with the wall going out there it just leads you to to where. The focal point is so, so where where he wants you to to uh, go, and um, yeah, it works. It works. Yeah, but nice. it could have you know like it just a, a little bit maybe to the side, and it could have been looked at as quite busy. Yeah, I mean, yeah, sure. yeah. There's yeah. a lot of a lot to look at. I mean, there's with the, yeah. rest of the hills in the backdrop. The hills are beautiful. <laughs> Yeah, um, I, I think if I was doing it again, but I, I can't because I've actually I've, I've looked and seen you can't do it again. And I can't yeah. remember why I didn't, but maybe just bring the camera around a little bit more to the right so that that, that wall goes closer to the, the left hand side and then sweeps in and try and get a bit more of what's on the right hand side. But if I remember correctly, what's on the right hand side is the main road. So yeah, 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 it, it had to be cropped out. In fact, you can just see the road there, uh, just going into those trees. So mm. I, I couldn't really bring it around any further. And if, if it mm -hmm. cropped in, I would lose those rocks and probably mm -hmm. the, light, the light as well. So that's kind that's of what a, I, and I, don't, I, don't, I don't think I could shift myself along further to get it right either with what was there. 
Yeah, oh, it is a scene. I mean, it's a nice scene. I mean, you, I mean, in that scene, you've got a lot to look at. I see it for that way. Um, the wall, as Jan says, leading you out to there, but also like the changing in colours of the trees, um, especially conifers. Conifers look very uniform, boring sometimes, but when you've got like a break in colour, it's mm. nice. It's, yeah. it's it, your eye kind of settles there, and you kind of just drift off to the hills, and the light. Well, yeah, that's yeah. A, the whole when thing it, of it, isn't it? When it comes to post processing as well, I, I left deliberately left the, the the trees under those rays dark, mm -hmm. brought them okay. up. Mm -hmm. Okay. You could actually bring detail out of that because there's a lot of detail in there. And I brought them up mm. and it just looked wrong. Just totally mm. wrong. And I thought, no, it yeah. needs to have I mean, that. pulling too much attention away from the, the front of the picture. Yeah, yeah. 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 It, it needed that darkness with the bright uh, light above it. Uh, so just left those uh, as they were. And yeah. the the larch, I think it is, the, the lighter coloured trees on the right-hand side, mm -hmm. brought those up a touch. And uh, okay. a bit on the... The trees in the foreground there, in the, in the middle ground, should I say, just to just to bring it up a little bit. I still got to buy that uh, processing course from Mass and. Uh, <laughs> turn out to do my pictures better. <laughs> yeah, did you watch that? Um, uh, sorry, Jan, the Mass one we done from last week. Um, no, I haven't actually, because I have to to confess that I am still I have been taking photos, but I have not been really looking at um the the usual videos. you know um yeah, videos yeah. because for the reason that i'm doing a, a masteral course this time and, well, good, good. and it's doing my head in so yeah but, yeah yeah but that that's it it's um I, I just wanted to say that this kind of shot is quite difficult to to bring together but alistair mm. managed to bring it together so so that's you know that's a testament to to you know so for yeah you yeah. crafted it well yeah mm. definitely so we'll go to the next shot for and thanks for your comments guys really good uh, comments uh yeah oh, yeah i like this this is um this could be like a, a movie you know like <laughs> you know i don't know where i'm coming from i'm saying this but i don't know why i say it. it's, it's like a epic movie kind of thing you know it's like there's uh something happening in the sky even though it's light you know it's something that's quite common but the, everything looks so small and the the sky's over dominating the kind of city um you're expecting like a ship to come out a spaceship or something Don't know why. yeah yeah it's like something. i was thinking god myself yeah, yeah, yeah god's car, finger yeah. pointing down yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pointing down on someone in the street yeah, well, people, yeah. people do call, call those uh rays you know paul you call them love rays but love rays yeah what people love call rays. them god rays and uh, definitely god a, rays, a yeah definitely a god ray look about it in that one. Oh yeah well come on and tell us more about it where, where were you what time of day was it etc well, was it a drone shot or where are we standing <laughs> so many it, questions <laughs> that's where it gets interesting so it's uh probably about four o'clock in the day i'd been out so doing some sort of touring around in photography in Bangkok and got back to the hotel. And this is the 21st floor of the hotel. In fact, the, the reception's on something like the ninth floor is office block and shops underneath. Mm -hmm. And I actually booked the hotel for two nights for one specific shot to take from the, mm. the back of the hotel. And it's a lot so there's on the very right hand side of the image of a pagoda with a, like a, a white wrap around it. Oh yeah, I see that. Yeah, and that, that, that's the Golden Mount, mm -hmm. and you can get a fantastic shot of that at sunset. Unfortunately, there's scaffolding on it when I arrive. As usual, case is the scaffolding and green netting all around it, so I wasn't very happy. Mm -hmm. But what had yeah. happened is I'd come home from this. I come home, but come back to the hotel after a day's shoot. Went into my room, and realised that, that there was a storm coming over the, the the city or just passing over the city and the view from my bedroom was not good and mm -hmm. you couldn't open the windows and the windows were pretty manky so I dashed out down my corridor to the very end and the windows at the very end opened enough to be able to push my d750 through the gap and round so I'm actually photographing from the other side of the glass and snap away using the the live view to to get the images and I got the settings the best I could it was it was an f8 200 ISO uh the it was a 34 millimeter so I think it was a big white uh 
by lens on that and one six fortieth of, a, of a, a second for the for the shot none of that really matters that much but i just sort of followed that round and just, just there's about five photographs in all of this and that one came out the best but it was the fact that it was like leaning out a window because 21st floor they don't open wide they don't want people falling out and yeah. pushing the camera through oh, to get to. Idea. yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's, that's nice i like to see the uh on the right hand side there and also on the left slightly you know the sun uh the glow of the sun from the obviously the, the evening sunset i presume yeah, and also yeah. you've got the light. You've got a lot of different kind of light there in the rays. Uh, it's, yeah, it's, you know, it's got, obviously got the, the yeah. cloud, the drama. Um, yeah, it's really a cracking yeah. shot. It's not just the light and the rays. It's the, the, the clouds over there on the left as well that are kind of pointing out of the picture, so it's le leading round and out, if you know what I mean, the, the clouds themselves. Yeah. Louise, what's your take on this? I mean, I, I know you, you're you pretty much dominated like a waterfall woman and you'll have all your water I, energies, yeah. et cetera. But, so what's your take on this? Um, so I know I know the hotel and I oh, yeah. did not get that shot. And I, I really like this. Every now and then you go to a place and sometimes sometimes you know, it looks very chaotic in the foreground, but sometimes the sky just takes your breath away. And mm. that's one of those occasions. So I can see exactly why you got your camera out and <laughs> we've done too. Yeah, yeah, well done. Lovely image. Well done. Thanks for sharing your images at Arsenal as well. Did you stay in the hotel, Louise? I think we did. Now, forgive me, it's a bit of a long time ago, and it was my first holiday with my husband. Uh... So uh, I'm going to say yes, and if I'm wrong, sorry. I think I did. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm not going to name the hotel because I wouldn't recommend it to anyone. So... No, no, the breakfast was rubbish. Um, so, uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'll keep that in case. Uh, so this one is Ming's, and um, <clears throat> this was taken a few years back, hence the post processing is quite flat looking. I'll probably have to. I was going to actually re edit this, and I couldn't be bothered. <laughs> couldn't be bothered. <laughs> I want to put more shadow in it. Um, it's a bit too kind of flat. But anyway, look, I mean, I like it because I like the backdrop. Uh, it was a tree, uh, it had character, and this tree was kind of pointing both directions. And the tree on the right hand side, immediate side to it, adjacent to it, looks confused <laughs> like which way are you taking me it's a little bit of story quite a bit of a kind of character -y tree kind of image um yeah mm -hmm. that's the story of that shot next image <laughs> <laughs> i quite like it i quite like the uh the processing of it actually i quite like that that again that nice softy feeling that that's quite that's muted, soft light so. yeah quite nice yeah it's a bit mute it's a bit mute i thought um that's still nice though you've got the the, the sun shining through, through the leaves yeah. isn't the fog yeah that was like pretty much in the morning when the fog was kind of eating the sorry the sunlight was eating through the fog so i had to act mm -hmm. quite quickly um i did try to bit about the haze but the problem was it just looked like over processed so mm -hmm. i just kind of backed off mm -hmm. uh putting a bit of the haze on it and uh yeah that's pretty much the result of it so the next one is uh this one was pretty much taken and i was up at um the velia forest uh across the across the water across the bridge it's gone towards kirkardon bridge mm. and this was pretty much me just stopping off the car jumping out and um just taking a couple of shots around looking around getting kind, of, kind of thing and it's just mainly just uh this single sapling this uh, young tree and this was kind of in the summer it was like august <laughs> um the light was amazing um the emphasis i've kind of emphasized the light slightly um i have brought up a lot of whites and i've ex slightly overexposed just to give that effect a bit more but that was pretty much the composition of the light where it was hitting the, sap the sapling tree and the frame of course of the, the branches coming in over the side just to frame the light because if i didn't have the the trees coming down from the top of the image then you would have sky and it look a bit kind of yeah and I would just kind of lose, kind of, kind of go out the picture. So yeah, this this is that one, and um, I quite liked it. I thought it was quite a good moment. It's when you, you do catch them. Sometimes you don't catch a light rays or love rays, as I call them. And I certainly caught them in this one, so I was quite happy with this image. So yeah, yeah you, you definitely do need those those leaves at the top there. I like yeah. the fact that they're backlit. It just works. It works well to frame. 
really well. Thank you. Uh, and that's it. I mean, if I didn't have these leaves at the top, I'd, 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 it wouldn't be, it wouldn't work. It wouldn't work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah great. Yeah. But I think you've been quite brave to actually take the shot like that as well. It'd be quite easy just to focus on that little sapling tree, you know, just with the light yeah. touching it. And, mm -hmm. and I, I think with you doing it in, in that, that portrait orientation as well, um, four by five and you've and you've got that like say that that little surround of them leaves just yeah. silhouetted it's a really really nice shot it's a lovely shot thank you yeah thank you thank you guys yeah. appreciate that mm -hmm. um yeah so we'll go to the next one and we've oh this is doug's i think it's doug doug Mullins. that's mine yes I'm... Uh, yeah and uh where about this, you doug there this here is seafield tower which is just outside kirkcaldy um, on the Fife Coast, the Fife Coastal Path runs past, just up in the top corner there, up past the tower. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Um, so yeah, I just caught it one morning, very early one morning. Um, obviously the sun was coming up. I think it was about maybe four o'clock, five o'clock in the morning. All oh, right, okay. Uh, in the middle of summer. Um, yeah, <laughs> not the know. best time in the summer. That's the one thing about the summer time when you get it for the sunrise, just. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, but you can guarantee it's quiet. There's very few dogs. Oh, yeah, yeah definitely. You know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's good. No offense to anyone with dogs, but you get in the way of my pictures. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't have a. I mean, everyone says, well, we always talk about dog walkers, but, you know, well, uh, so when you're in the woodland, there's always dog walkers everywhere. Doesn't matter what, mm -hmm. if it's three o'clock in the morning, whatever, in the summer, that is. Uh, but, yeah. They're not dog walkers. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not you, Alistair. You're, you, you're the person who does take pictures of a dog. That's different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, yeah, I, so this is actually, um, I was taking it, there, there was a seal who was watching me the whole time. It was really okay. weird. They're, they're taking all the pictures and the seal's head just kept poking out the water. Oh. Was, what's he doing? It was like, I want to go to that beach and I'm not going there while he's there. You know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not far, actually, from where my grandparents lived. Okay. Uh, when, I was a, when I was a child. And uh, I, I know the area very, very well. And half that tower, I mean, it dates from about the 1200s or something. Half that tower... Has fallen into the water since uh, since I was a boy. Really? So it, it did used to be square, and I used to play in that as a kid, but uh, not anymore. Yeah. Interesting what the tower was. It was oh, just just a tower house, you know, so the the noblemen's tower houses that they yeah. had. You know? <laughs> yeah. What I like about that picture on the right hand side at the bottom, where you got the rocks with the, the light kissing the side of the rocks. Mm. Um, I like that bit. Just uh, the foreground. Nice. I want obviously I wanted to get down low because the rocks obviously I wanted to kind of emphasize. I don't have a wire, or didn't have a wide angle lens, but then I've got one now. Yeah, um, yeah. But um, yeah, I just wanted to emphasize the rocks a bit more. The other thing is you've got to get down low there because there is a housing estate just kind of over the other side of that hill there, and if you're ah, right. any higher, you can see the the houses popping up <laughs> over the top. So the lowest you go is probably better for them anyway just think of it absolutely leaving. absolutely yeah so that's what we shot doug guys yeah. um anybody else got a take on this one i'll go i'm gonna i'll go yep yeah. i'll <laughs> <I'll> speak <laughs> at the same time guys <laughs> it's, I'm, always, I'm always blathering on yeah it's it's the the texture of all these pebbles as well that leads you through that i yeah. quite like it's that, yeah. it's that, you know with that side light it and it's really nice and then mm. the interest of what that that castle that tower is and I'm so, so jealous of where you lot live. I'm so jealous. And how? <laughs> Lady, I'm jealous of where you live, so imagine the level of jealousy up there. Oh, yeah, you know what, guys? I'm all the way around, actually. If, if the woodlands are down your way. Sometimes you've got better woodlands than we have. We have to travel quite far to get a good, a good woodlands. Not here, mate. Speak for yourself. Speak for yourself. We've got some lovely woodlands around here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you got you got woodland, you got these beautiful locks, you got castles, you just got a little <laughs> bit of everything. I'd love to yeah. go to New Forest. I'd love to go to New Forest. That's yeah. what I like. I'll swap you. I'll swap you for a month. We'll swap houses. You can do oh, yeah. New Forest. Oh, it's not here. And I'll be. Oh, mind you, I might even be okay at woodland at the end of it. You never know. Guys, <laughs> yeah, you heard that comment Louise said. So if you want to pay for my uh, you know, fair down, fair fair to you'll have to live with my husband though. So good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm holy. <laughs> I can oh, take no, him on a bender a few that. drinks. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll move on to the next one for Doug. Uh, we have a great, I love graveyards. 
Yeah, mm. call me a bit of a, a, I don't know, a graveyard geek, but I do love, I do love graveyards or a freak. Mm. Yeah, that's true. Without the oh, thanks, yeah. oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, obviously it's a calm for a storm. It looks like you know the, the sky is just like it's going to break open and it does. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't think it did at the end of the day, but um, uh, this is Abercorn Church, which is just down yeah. again. It's the sea is just over behind those those trees there. The oh yeah, side. actually, I've been past not that graveyard, but I know Abercorn. Heard of it. You know Abercorn, yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. Uh, it's a medieval church, so yeah, it's quite quite old. Really? And it's quite yeah. um, it's very picturesque. Uh, Looking at uh, that church there, uh, many the, um, the, uh, the 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 one the the part that comes out. Uh, there's a name for it. I can't get my name. But anyway, on the right hand side, the first part you look at, it looks uh-huh. more dated than the other side, which is more pretty much being restored. Yeah. Nave. Like... Nave. Nave. That's it. Nave. Yeah. Possible. Yeah. Re teacher. Just saying. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Like teacher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think that is the original part of the church. It dates back. It was part of the. What's the word? Is it diocese? Is that the word? Of the, 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 the monk of yeah. Lindisfarne Abbey. So it was part of their grounds uh, mm. way back when. Usually it's grey fire so for the monks, yeah. The church there. yeah. Um, and you've got the name, you can see the name of the uh, William Meyer. Is that William Meyer? William Meyer. Uh, and, yeah. and his wife, who passed away after much suffering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, is it over 100 years? Yeah, it's 1905. Yeah, we can make a joke. Yeah. Um, I was in the graveyard. I was actually vlogging this. Uh, it's on one, on one of my vlogs. And um, I was taking this shot just because I had the, the grave in the foreground and whatnot. And then the sun came out. You know, I wasn't actually waiting for the sun to come out because it was a horrible day. It was dull day. Um, and you know what it's like when you're doing a vlog and uh, I've got to get one in. I've got to get a picture here, you know, mm. because this has got to go out tomorrow morning. So... Um, yeah, and yeah, the sun came out all of a sudden, and all these bright lights and the shadows and whatnot just pointing in towards the church. Uh, just like right, got to get that snap, and that was that. Yeah. Um, I actually lost uh, one of my lenses when really? I was doing this. Yeah, as, as I was vlogging, it was on the vlogging camera, and it blew over. It's, oh. it's, it's in the vlog. It blew over. The lens just got. Squelched beyond repair. It landed on the lens. What lens so, was it? Sorry? What kind of lens was it? Oh, it was a nasty little kit lens that came with my original camera. But oh. nevertheless, it cost me about 300 quid to replace it. Yeah, yeah mm. money's money. I have I have, I have, taken out insurance since then. That was a lesson learned. Yeah, I've mm. done it myself, actually. I've, um, <laughs> I, I'm like you. I've, I have taken out insurance. It took me a couple of years to do that. Um, I started yeah. photography, but I think it's well worth it. Oh, I've had my, I've had a whole bag of camera gear stolen before. Oh, oh no! That was way wow. back three years ago or so, four years ago I think it was mm. now. So yeah, mm. I mean, guys, if you're watching this, you know it's not a bad thing insurance. doing. Uh, it's a good investment to get insurance. And and, um, and and when you buy kit, make sure you keep the receipts. Yeah. Because if you want to do an insurance claim, they want the receipt. And so you yeah, of course. Something, yeah. If you buy yeah, something second yeah. hand on yeah. Facebook Marketplace or something, which I did, and you go buy it from the person you don't get a receipt so i've got a 200 millimeter f 2.8 nikon nikon lens that i can't insure that's mm. crazy yeah mm-hmm. so always make sure you get a receipt yeah john what's yeah. your take on this image um i think i you know the the side light made a lot of difference definitely mm. and um that made the shot and also the way i like it because the right hand side with the tree in it and the church looks heavy, but having mm-hmm. this um basically um the gravestone on yeah. the left hand side, lower hand side, just uh balance it. Oh yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. So it just balanced that. So there is because without that it would have been kind of top heavy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 I think if that grave hadn't been there, I would probably have cropped it down a bit more as well. Made yeah. it more three by one or something, you know, but because yeah. the whole one would be empty. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a, a balanced, really well balanced yeah. shot. Yeah. Especially the light and the, of course, the sky. You've got the two, yeah. two different things of forms yeah. there. Yeah. I, I do like that's, that. that's one of my favorite kind of shots is when you've mm. got a really dark sky, yeah. but the sunlight is poking through. 
Mm. Uh, yeah, I love it. Do you know, see, yesterday I was driving through Linlithgow and I, I didn't have my camera with me and I was really annoyed at myself because the palace was like that, Linlithgow Palace. Yeah. Uh, it was all lit up like that, that kind of sunlight, dark, dark sky. And then to cap it all off, there was a rainbow over the whole lot. I was like, no camera! I was so annoyed. Oh, I, <laughs> talking about Let, Let's Go Palace, I actually had a shot there, which um, I would say that I was quite proud of. Um, it was one of those that, you know, one of my moments of madness of uh, not liking tripods. So I just took a shot and uh, it was very early in the morning. The loch was very misty. Mm -hmm. And then the sun came out and just lighted the the whole loch with the mist rising up and the castle in the background. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just went really well, that one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's a lovely palace, actually. As in, if you're looking at it from the loch, yeah, uh, it was great, especially the reflection on the lock. If you get a good picture of it, guys. Yeah. So here we go to Lone Lift Go. Um, yeah, get it from I the lock. Side. So many shots of that. Yeah, <laughs> right. We'll just move on to the next one. Uh, thank you, Doug, as well for your images. Um, oh, well, is this so easy? It is. Why do you know that? I don't know why I say that. I just something about now, the... Do you know what? When I was putting this together, I look at your shots and I go, Oh, that's sustaining. That's a daggett, and, and yeah, and that's an asset. And I can't uh, uh, clearly, Paul, yours, yours are quite distinctive as well. And, and, and I, I, I can spot your shots, so I can mm. spot your. You know, yeah, we're all like style. That's oh, because we've kind of each other for a few months. Bit more obviously. <laughs> do you ever see it in your own work? Yeah. Yeah. Ever. It's weird. Someone, you just said that to me, and I'm thinking, how would you know? I don't get it, but there we are. I just got you. I love that. I uh, just like the, the contrast of light of the city lights <laughs> in the right hand side of the town yeah. lights, whatever. Mm -hmm. and yeah. I'm right, that is what it is, isn't it? It's kind of it's at night time and you've got the, the light at the coastal kind of receding. Um sunset. No, no, pre dawn. Oh, right, so tell this me is, more. So, this is Madeira looking <laughs> Right, okay. Oh yeah. If, yeah. Uh, sorry, looking east as if you were looking towards Africa. Um, oh. So this is the road that goes up towards Fennel Forest. Right. And this was the sixth time that I've been up to Fennel Forest to not get fog. Mm. And we, I'm not going to lie, we stopped there because there's some public toilets right next to this viewpoint. <laughs> and, come across um, this composition. Anyway, we availed ourselves of those. And I just, there was a, a rainstorm coming in. I just thought, this is quite interesting. So mm. I took about four shots. <coughs> excuse me, sorry. And um, so there's a, there's a whole bunch of photographers that, that have done kind of a Madeira. So I'm just thinking um, Nigel and a few others. And they've all gone to the opposite end of the island and I had a disaster going there. But this was looking in that direction. And I just took it as the rain was coming towards us. About 15 minutes later, we got absolutely drenched. Mm. Um, but it was just a lucky shot more than anything else. And obviously quite a long exposure. And then, then we proceeded up the mountain and actually got fog in that those wonderful kind of gnarly trees at the top yeah. there. Yeah. But it was yeah. our sixth time, and it's a long old, it's a long old journey down from the coast up to this. So this is effectively sort of halfway up, um, sort of the same altitude, I'm guessing, as the the, the top one of those lights you're seeing directly sort of the, on the uh, the right third, yeah, but it was lucky. That's cracking. I think you vlogged I that. Did you vlog that? You, you, vlogged you vlogged that one, didn't you? I think you I did, yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. It's, it's actually, it's yeah. yeah. And I just thought when 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 you said Jan Light, there's a little mm -hmm. bit of panic on my face there. I was like, oh my god, um, <laughs> that's what we all want to go for, <laughs> but but yes, but so that I thought I'd go one international and one really local to me. Mm. Yeah, it's a beautiful shot. The lovely ingredients. Oh, uh, guys, uh, anybody want to talk more about the shots? Anything you want to pick out you like? I say, I say every week I'm on. I love layers. Yeah. Those layers in there, it's just stunning. Absolutely stunning. Mm -hmm. I, when this one, 
but when we, we get to see some of the images beforehand and this one popped up i was just like oh wow that's a that's a frame it stick it on the wall shot that was i'll take cool. that yeah mm -hmm. it's the tones as well for me it's them them nice tones color but yeah. Yeah. talking about yeah. light you've got two lots sources of light haven't you? you you've obviously got the sun rising but you've also got the lights of the the city below and and the both work so well together but it's them tones for me it's that you know them beautiful sort of ready vibrant tones with it but but just soft enough just fading away into the mountain into the right hand side there really nice so much interest yeah there's so much interest in that shot and uh, my eyes just are pulling to the right a little bit more with regards to the the lights and the buildings mm. um and you just kind of your eyes once your eye gets fed up that you can just move along because it's a panel it works well as a panel that way because you want to move your eye along the coastline and just kind of see it out the road goes right along um and up mm. and up. it's it's the north of madeira is bonkers to drive along um mm. and to go from one end of the island to the other it's it's it takes a long time because you're up and down up and down in and out all the time um and it it just doesn't look like it's problematic to drive yeah but it's the one time that we didn't get the cheapest car going I normally go for cheapest <laughs> like the rubbish engine Arrgh! but we didn't on this one no boy am i pleased yeah, you know the, the rocks in the middle there. You can see the rocks in the middle. Mm -hmm. Stuck. I love that detail in them, sticking out. Luck. Shot. Nothing more than luck. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> luck pays off well. You can't really design that, can you? To be no. fair, yeah. mm. perseverance <laughs> in it as well. It's, it's finding it as well. So you, you found that you've seen something you like, so it's not luck. Just you found that your eyes. And the loos were very, very convenient. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, let's go to the next one. That's a, a, a cracking shot. Beautiful panel. Mm. Oh yeah, this is a Louise shot through and through. Yeah, evergreens. Have I put this art before? I'm so sorry, but I just I don't, I don't know if you have. I think no, you've not. Your no, you've not. I, I, you did put some summer up in the first episode we yeah. done. Uh, that was like it was kind of hills and it had corn for trees. trees in the horizon, if I recall. Yeah, it was corn for trees and everything was in it. Uh, uh, this one's okay. different. This has got an S curve in it as well. If you can see it. Yeah. I zigzag right through that. It's lovely. It's first thing that caught my eye. Mm -hmm. that? Yeah. And looking mm -hmm. at the uh, the kills in the, the foreground there as well, the light hit the back of the tail of the kill. Just a little detail <laughs> like that. I, I'm very pernicative that way, guys. <laughs> I do like it. No, I, just, I like to pick things out. And I like my, I'm, your yeah. eyes attracted to light in it. Um, yeah. We are like moths. Yeah. So you've got, I don't know if you can see, but on the back towards the right, you've got a windmill. Yeah. I was just oh, about yeah. to ask what that was. Is it is a windmill? Is it? Yeah. So it's so this what you've got in the background. So if you ever come to the South Downs, um, that sticky uppy bit, technical expression on the hill there is called Phil Phil Beacon, mm -hmm. um, and this is just a farm that has an amazing view, and you have to get it. Um, so you've got side light. And I did a video a little while ago, which was about all about light. Yeah. And and I started off there, and there was absolutely no light at all. And it's dead as anything. This is September. It was all quite hazy. And, all, and, and I was there. And Ben was at a different location. I was all smug with my husband going, oh, look at this. It'll be lovely. It'll be lovely. And then, boom, it, it kind of hit like this. And I did a video call with Ben at about 5.30 or something in the morning. And I turned it around. And he got some fresh light. I was like, hello. Showing him. And it just kicked off. It was just lovely. And what I like about this, forgive me, is the, the bales of hay. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's the bit. It's because it's just a tip, and unfortunately, they're all wrapped in black plastic, which is yeah. the typical oh, yeah. autumn UK thing. Mm, mm. That, yeah, yeah, but that's uh, actually, not showing up as black as it, it could have been. So that's that's not, yeah, so yeah. I was going to say that it's not really noticeable until you really, really look at it until yeah. you said that as well. Um, Jan, what's your take on it? Um, it's a really, really lovely shot. You know, it's it's one of those that draws your eyes, and um, and it's um, um, I love the the, you know, the subtle uh change in color. Mm. Yeah, you. I I love the the subtle um change in color. Um, it's 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 really nice. Um, it's you know really well done to to get that. And you know, it's it's like this um very, very 
um how do you go it's like a very english country it really is it's quintessential thing. south yeah. down yeah yes it is um i just i this is me being you know trying to learn you know as as uh, i go along i just yeah. wondered would it make a difference to the shots if the you know that bottom uh, that top uh 10% uh you know not to show the sky but just stop I've right I've done that there. in other ones I've done that in other ones and I agree yeah. with you yes yeah, so so other ones I have um, yeah pop that out and actually gone a little bit in mm -hmm. on yeah. the left hand side so it's more about those zigzags yeah, it's, yeah. I don't know why but I just wanted to get the 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 bales and yeah almost wanted the slight blowout in the sky mm. just yeah. i and when i did that without the the sky it with this particular type of um mm. position it was too close mm -hmm. for the windmill and the windmill mm. felt like it was really cramped in mm. i agree with you jan i've done some without that but mm -hmm. because it's so wide when mm. I cropped in, particularly on that left-hand side, because it's really quite low, mm. it yeah. was, was just too claustrophobic on that um, mm. on that windmill. But mm. I have yeah. that. Yeah, I got you. Mm. Yeah, I see what you mean by that. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, the, the luminance of the light, the dapple, dapple light around the, uh, the image as well is really captivating. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. Yeah, that's a lovely shot, uh, Louise. Thanks again as well for sh uh, sharing your images with us. Really enjoying that. Um, we're going to Mr. Steve Stain, are we? No. I wish. It's not yours? I wish it this was. is Darren's, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Darren, it, yeah. It must be Darren. Right, Darren's not here tonight, guys, so I'll have to yeah. just explain. Uh, so, guys, uh, Darren uh, is not here tonight. Ginger Captures, as you know, on YouTube. Uh, can't make it tonight, but he's left us his images to look on. And, uh, yeah, lovely image. I love the tone in this one. Love the golden light. Is that what I'd interest. call bog cotton in the you know what's yeah. catching the light in the front? Because I, I think, think that's it is, really yeah. Mm. yeah. I, I love so. that. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. Is, is, is it wrong for me? If I was there taking that picture, I'd be trying to get the foreground in focus as well. Mm -hmm. Is it better to it's a genuine question here? Is it better to have it in focus and the background in focus or to have it just out of focus like that? I think what? that's a creative decision. Yes. For me, yeah, right. yes, because right. it is because it's catching the light, mm -hmm. it works well. Mm -hmm. It does there, it yeah. Out of focus. Mm -hmm. Because right. it's almost like it's kind of glowing in the foreground there. Yeah. You can also force I think that if, if I wanted to draw their, their attention to it hugely and not towards the back, then I would have, have gone in focus. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. For me, this yeah. I like it's, it. it. It's what we discussed before about uh, this idea of everything from front to back has to be it has to be in focus. No, not at and all. It's not no. necessarily no, um, I, don't, I don't I don't bite to that at all. So. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm weaning myself <laughs> off that notion that has to be all in focus, and it, it's hard, it really is. Mm -hmm. in, I think it was Chris in, said that as well. Chris Sale, um, his when he yeah. came onto the show and he said because he loves mad man made objects, etc. In his shots, he's kind of said well, he doesn't photo stack. He's hit F eleven, F eight, and he just kind of let's say background just kind of drop off and um yeah mm -hmm. but looking at this image it's like it doesn't need much sharpness in it because you look at the hills mm -hmm. in the, the background absolutely and the layers are just amazing yeah amazing layers the yeah. size just kind of moves on mm -hmm. yeah yeah steve? it's um i sorry steve i oh, sorry, like, go on, i go like on. the image um i think having the foreground uh you know out of focus helps it because if yeah. it was really you know in focus that would have dominated yes that would have dominated it mm -hmm. yeah. yeah yeah so i will agree mm -hmm. yeah it's a lovely shot and um, dan thanks for uh, showing us one it was really nice uh, yeah. i do like the way the mist is kind of illuminated by the sun as well you know yeah 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 it really helps yeah, just... the, the the hills stick out you know yeah. it just makes me wonder whether if He's gone near the edge. What was behind? You know what would have been the shot. Mm. Yeah, but that's that's part of the, that's that's really what he's trying to achieve in the image, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's yeah, beyond there. Yeah, you know that's the interest yeah. of the image is what's yeah. beyond that little ridge there. You know. Yeah, <laughs> I, I was wondering whether uh, again, uh, you know, it's. I think we can all focus on 
on having everything in focus. And it, it was a trend, let's say. Mm. It, it was a trend for a while. And I, I've never really been up for, for that, to be honest with you. But what I'd have done in this situation was taken two shots, one with it in focus and one with that, and then chose, got back and chose which image I prefer. Yeah. It had just been yeah. nice to see. I, I'm wondering if if you could step back and make a little bit more of that, them flowers that are glowing in the foreground or the cotton or whatever it is or bits of dew on the grass or whatever it is, just to even sort of blur it out even more, if you like. Mm. Yeah. I yeah. yeah. Use a bit longer lens. Um, and mm, it's, you know what? it's not here to, because I mean, you, but again, that's just, it's the interest of the, the shot, isn't it? That, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. What's beyond there? What's beyond that next deal? What's, what's, what, where's that lake? You know, and, and your eyes just keeps going and going and going and going. Yeah. The first thing, like you and Louise commented the, the, about the foreground, that's what caps you straight away. And as Jan says, that's what kind of gets your eye looking at straight away is yeah. there because it's quite dominant. But, uh, you, you did like it and also of course it's that thing when the image that everything works yeah um and i do get your points guys but i think it works very well and i think yeah. i think we all do know what works yeah well. no i i think yeah. it's um I, I think it's i i think if i'd have took that shot i would prefer that one rather than the in in focus foreground yes. without a doubt yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. It, i think i think that suits it correct. yeah it's a lovely shot, Dan. Real love it. And thanks, Dan, for sharing these images. And Dan, Chris, this is the Grand Canyon almost, is That's it? <laughs> it's not the Grand Canyon, but we know it's got that effect. Mm. Come on, guys. Look at this one. Let's uh, let's eat away at this image and talk about it. I want to know where it is. I'm assuming. <laughs> I would love to know where it is, yeah. Is it uh, part of the Krang? Is it it's a drone shot or something like that? What I say? Yeah, no. Definitely I, drone, but I didn't. I, I thought it was the Korang, but yeah, not is the Korang in the, yes. in the background down there? Yes, the yeah. left hand side down there. Yeah, I think it's you're right. Sky, you're yes. right. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. cracking, yeah. And it's just the, the panel works well with this one, isn't it? Because it's just giving you so much scope, yeah, yeah. yeah looking so much scope in the shot, yeah, it's lovely. There's a detail as well, just looking at the foreground there. Well, there's no foreground, but looking at the immediate ground that is. You can actually um, see the landslide from there as well, can't you? You can, yeah. Can, yeah. Landslide, yeah. 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 But not just that, you've got all the, 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 the if you like, the strata of the rock. Mm. Yeah. Right, yeah. Even yeah. Strata, pointing yeah. in towards the centre of the, the horizon, if you like, you know. Yeah. Which yeah. I think is, that's, that's lovely. Yeah, it's a lovely shot. And uh, just the clouds coming across there, just um, just kind of frames the image at the top. It's beautiful. Mm. I mean, I wonder if it is a drone shot. I, I presume it is. Well, it's got to be, That's it? got it's to be a drone be, shot. Yeah, it must be. Yeah. Must be if it wasn't shot, a drone yeah. shot, there would be a whole lot more pictures yeah. than that. Right? It's not yeah. a very big yeah. guy, yeah. so it's definitely Never a drone seen that shot. Before. Yeah, yeah that's a cracking shot. Dude, Done. Yeah. Thank you. Nice. Um, yeah, I mean, any guys, any, before we just finish up for the well, I've got Steve's images next, but any other guys want to talk about this one? It's, well, it's amazing, it's isn't it? It's as simple I think as that. gushed it's, quite a bit, to be fair. Yeah, yeah, that's a cracking yeah. shot, Dan. Thank mm. you for sharing that. Um, we will, we will actually use that as our wallpapers when you're not looking. Uh, so, uh, Steve, uh, skill is it? <laughs> is that you in the, the right hand side there? Yeah, it's me. Doing a Mads, Mads Peter you Emerson. Have, you have verbed. Mads. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> was, this was. Um, I spent two hours waiting for that light to come across that mountain. Well, oh, I hoping know. that that light would come across that mountain, but um, I during the week, yeah, it's. Um, I know the light comes from that side. Um, it's mm. uh, Penny Olwyn, the mountain, uh, North oh, Wales, right. um, mm -hmm. Linnidwell. Um, so I I'd done a shoot in the morning, and I was absolutely shattered, to be honest with you. But I just mm -hmm. wanted to fill the day in, and I thought this walk to this location was about twenty minutes. It's no, not, mm -hmm. it's not. It's it's three quarters of an hour to an hour. It's oh. a killer, actually. It's a killer. <laughs> but for me, it is anyway. So, um, yeah. so I I sat up there. It was cold and windy, and um, I, I just just wanted to get this light, and I was just about to give in, I think. And then I could see it starting to creep over. So this this is a blended shot. Um, so I blended the 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 light as it's coming across the mountain there, and then obviously. Mm -hmm. I've done the, the blend of me standing on that rock and I'm not on the edge because I don't like heights either. So, um, <laughs> it just, uh, but, um, it was more the effort 
I've put into it to grab the shot, to be honest. Mm. Yeah. It's a light, and it's that strip yeah, of light. That, that strip of light, yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just looking around the terrain and uh, the the dead tree there coming out the side of the rocks. Yes, I, well. I think that dead tree's been blown over now. I think, I think. <gasps> yeah, 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 which oh, is yeah. gutting. Yeah, yeah, it just puts interest in the foreground shots like that when you've got yeah. like remnants of old trees and things. Yeah, that's a cracking. It's, shot it's a super super place to be honest. It's one of my favourite places to go to. It's my my favourite place in North Wales. Go to. Um, yeah, that area. Uh, yeah, cracking images. Uh, guys, we'll we'll actually sh share these images in the group if you're okay with that as well for mm -hmm. the members to see. You okay with that? Yeah, all the images tonight. Yeah, yeah. 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 Jan, you okay with that? Yeah, sure. Great. We please and thanks again for sharing your images too. And let's. Wow. Ah, nice. Uh, this is a shot. I mean, I'm not really man-made kind of shots person myself, but this is a shot I'm been looking to get for ages. Is the it's the kind of the the sort of older kind of style walls which have been gone for generations of farmers of boat. I love this type of shot. I don't mind a man made the light as well. No, yeah, I, don't. Yeah. I don't. But again, yeah. it was um, I camped in the van overnight. I was with Martin again. Um, very cold. Um, yeah. First time we'd come to this location. Luckily, we've sort of stumbled across this 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 wall with the with the style going over. Mm. Um, yeah, and not even knowing if we're going to get any light in this part of the the valley. It's actually the other side of that mountain you've just seen, um, and uh, yeah. So first time we've been there, we 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 arrived at night, so we we didn't see anything. Couldn't see what was in front of us till that morning. Get get up early, wake up really early, freezing cold, mm. and just stumbled across this. And it was just yeah. just as the light hits it as well, so we were so fortunate. Um, I should have said it's still a little wider there. Yeah, it, it's just... Years. But I actually got a shot just <laughs> the other side of that ladder looking down from the other way, which I, I really like as well. Uh, it's um, I nearly put that up with it as, as a matching pair, to be honest with you. But mm -hmm. but that area, is, is quite, it's got quite a bit of history. Now, I can't name the lake because it's... Or the Lynn... Because it's it's well, and I just can't pronounce it. I've got no chance. But the area, if you see on that left hand side, there's a little ruined yeah. building, and mm, then there's like a them, wall yeah. that you see. Well, that wall is uh -huh. an old dam wall, and if you see the little gap in the middle there, well, that uh -huh. was breached, and um, it actually went down into the the village at the bottom of the valley there, and and killed a load of people about hundred years ago. So really? there's a lot of history there. Today. All right, okay. Yeah, also, yeah. yeah I mean, yeah. I know it's like a, a ruined building and such. It's a little ruined building, yeah. And then if you look behind yeah. it, there's, a, there's, a, there's that, that dark wall that you see. Well, that's actually a damn wall. Um, yeah, and it right. breached, and unfortunately, it, um, it it killed a lot of people down in the valley there. So it's um, yeah. it's a fantastic area to shoot. But yeah, that, that literally is the backside of that mountain we've just seen on the previous yes. photo. All right. Mm -hmm. And it's another place yeah. I need to go back to, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. why. It, it's, it's yeah, well definitely. The sky's there. beautiful as well. Yeah. Uh, Steve, uh, really stunning images. And uh, wish yeah. we could have more time on these images, guys. Uh, thank you uh, to all, one and all, uh, for showing your images uh, tonight. And we will all go back to, just go back to the screen. We'll stop sharing. And we will, yeah. There's our ugly faces back. For you guys, are my you were never gone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, yeah, it's been great. Uh, I mean, I've enjoyed it, and uh, you know, Louise, uh, Steve, uh, Doug, and Alistair, and of course, Jan. Uh, thanks for tonight. Really enjoyed that, guys. Um, just anything going on? Have you anything you wanted to say? Have you anything in the vlogs or uh, YouTube chat? Anything on your YouTube channel just now you wanted to put out there? I've got oh. one that's gone out about half an hour ago. Just to let you know. Yeah, no, the reminder. when you see this video, guys, we're recording this now. Oh, that's kind of taken away that live that. thing. You know. <laughs> so that's... No, She's ruined it for us. Not at all, nothing going on. You had another one going out half an hour ago in two weeks' time. I, I will, every mm. two weeks, six <laughs> crack on, have a nose. And the time you watch this video, guys, I'll probably create two videos by now because I'm just starting to record videos again for myself, so... Uh, yeah. Sorry, Jan, can you just tell us more about uh, Lens Lounge, just to put out to people out there who watch yeah, our channel? Yeah, uh, Lens Lounge actually is um, is just um, kind of of a sharing platform for for upcoming um, 
photographers, uh, no, you know, no specific topic, just, just basically uh, interviewing photographers, what the, um, what, you know, why they went into photography, how they're, uh, how they plan their shots, etc. So it's just getting into, into, um, you know, the creative process that they also employ when they take photos and also asking on, um, you know, uh, topics as, as much as, um, asking do you feel threatened with ai coming into into you know into photography because um as we can see there are some people already that's that's you know using ai to produce to produce photos so so um yeah, that's one yeah. of the topics but it's very varied and and it talks more about you know the photographer themselves and yeah. and yeah. um and their plans for the future etc so any of you guys who wants to to also go there that would be great yeah we'll certainly well when these guys know about already i'll have plugged it a few times mm. uh so tell the guys hello for me and uh hope oh, well, is doing well as well definitely yeah, and thank you guys well. for having me um, oh it's been a pleasure thanks for coming and uh <laughs> guys as well so Jan, uh, you're welcome back on the channel as well if you want to come on for a little okay. Just sit in the back of the panel and just listen to yours, talk to guests as well if you want. Yeah. Uh, I might, I might season, hear next so. time my Linlith go shot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually, you know, do that. Uh, so, guys, thanks again for watching our Lens Class podcast uh, or Landscape Lens Card podcast, even. And I hope you have a good week of photography. Uh, get some great shots up there. And if you haven't been to our group, have a look at our group on YouTube channel, uh, sorry, on Facebook, even. And it's called Landscape Lenscad Podcast. Uh, and put your images out there as well. And you may be featured. Your images may be featured sometime in the future. Who knows? Uh, Doug, uh, Steve, uh, Louise, and Alistair, thanks for coming on tonight. And of course, Jan, our uh, panelist guest. It's been a pleasure having you on. And I'm sure we'll, uh, we'll meet up again sometime soon. Uh, take you. care, guys. Have a lovely one. And uh, take care. Yeah. All the best. Bye. See you later. Bye bye. Bye bye. Are they all rushing to watch the England match? No, they're, they're going out. Alistair's oh. taking his dog out. All oh, right. Um, uh, uh, watch the England match. Get blocked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to leave that in, actually. You know that. <laughs>